everyone. My first meeting as superintendent at Marshall. I'm really excited to be here. Um, everyone has been really welcoming to me and I appreciate it very much. I, I enjoyed everyone I've met and I'm having a really good time. I'm looking forward to the students coming back. The adults, of course, but the students coming back um, will be the highlight of, of my time here. I, I really enjoy my time with them. I, as I told you in the letter, I'm going to, before school gets started and we're in session for too long, I'm going to have the middle school and high school student councils for lunch with me and listen to their voice and listen to some of the things they have to say about their school and what they feel that they could um, contribute and what they would like for us to contribute for them. So it, I'm looking forward to opening that conversation with the kids too. Um, yesterday I had the pleasure of meeting with the administrative team, the principals, the directors, and I met for a learning session, which is what I'm all about as a leader. And when my learning stops and when the learning stops from people around me, I think that the organization is in trouble. So we had a really good, um, upbeat, fun, but important learning session yesterday. So. The principals, uh, the administration team here is highest level. I'm very impressed and just really feeling optimistic about my time with them. So I'm also looking forward to working with teachers. And this year is going to be a little bit of a, um, an adventure for all of us because we're going to introduce the new teacher evaluation system here at Marshall. We haven't talked about it very much, but it is by law. Um, a part of the vast school improvement network that will be going on in our state and that, that we here in Marshall, of course, are, are going to be participating in, in and participating in, in a very encouraging and supportive way to our teachers. The new evaluation system is a result of the No Child Left Behind waiver. So that we received the waiver, we had, the state of Missouri adopted a teacher evaluation model. There are seven principles that are adopted. And each school district adopt, must adopt a um, model that's based on those seven principles. And they are very, um, they're very rigorous. They're um, m meant to raise expectations for student success. And I think, I think it's a good, a good model. I'm looking forward to it. I've asked one of my dear friends, Patty Corum, who is the newly retired assistant superintendent at Fort Zumwalt, to come and work with our teachers. Her teachers, if you go to the DESE webpage, there is a video about teacher evaluation. That is her district and her teachers. They designed their own tool. They um, had a voice from the very beginning. And I think it's critical that teachers be involved at the very front end in their evaluation system. Teachers want, they want good teachers, they want good colleagues, and they know as well as anyone what makes a good teacher. So she is an expert in that area, and um, she and I have been friends for a long time, so she's going to do a, a really good job here at Marshall, and I'm very appreciative to her that she's going to come down here and be with us. I also have a, uh, Former, former Mizzou football star, Jerome Sally, who is going to come and work with us probably around the beginning of the year. He, his specialty is um, creating and maintaining a positive, upbeat um, school environment where kids have a voice and the conversation amongst students and adults is never one based on punitive measures, but based on supportive measures. And he is an engaging speaker. I know the kids will love him, and I know the adults will too. So I'm looking forward to working with him. I'm going to um, start a, as I said, I believe in learning throughout the organization. And I'm going to start what's called an aspiring leaders program here for teachers who want to become principals. And I think districts who can identify and then encourage high-level teachers to be great principals have, have a real advantage in today's world. So I would like to give the, the teachers here who are interested in administration that opportunity. 
I'm going to be able to offer it for college credit through the University of Missouri. So I'm, I'm looking forward to working with them, and I think it will be a really good investment for the district. So that's, I, I'm excited about that, too. We have computer labs in the middle school and high school that need either replacement or some, some real refurnishing, uh, refurbishing. We have testing coming up in the spring that is going to require computers for students. And um, there has been money budgeted, and that was one of the priorities that was handed to me by Ms. Stevenson when, when she left, that the middle and high school computer labs really need some attention. And so we're visiting with Monty actually uh, this morning. And so we're going to move forward with that and, and do that as much as possible with, you know, the cost as effective as possible. But um, it's something that it's going to be a, a requirement for schools if we want our students to be able to compete with other students. So. As I think everyone knows, we are in the process of thinking about um, staffing the central office and the position that Ms. Stevenson left. Darcy has done a fabulous job this month. We have interest in, um, in that position amongst our people here in the district. That brings up all sorts of issues. Um, bringing in someone from outside the district bring, is all sorts of issues. So um, I think that this, I just, I want you to know, I did call a number of schools and as many schools as I called, or as many configurations in the central office as I got, I, I got um, from um, Moberly with 2,500 students who has a superintendent and two assistants to Center, which is up by Kansas City, with 2,530 students who has a superintendent and six assistants. So, and, and the other districts fall in between. So I think it's up to us to to be prudent with the, the district's finances, but also to understand that to be effective, an individual must be able to do what the job description, the job description has to be appropriate. So we're going to talk about um, people and, and possibilities further on later this evening, but I did want to, to know that we, I've been working on that. I did have a very frank, open discussion with the administrators yesterday about the challenges and the advantages to, to both ways of looking at, at filling that central office position. But we'll talk about that a little bit later. And that is my entire report.